Hello everyone. Today we will discuss a book that provides insight into human nature, human weaknesses. This book, written by American psychologist Dale Carnegie, provides profound insights into relationships. In this video, I will share 50 key points from human weakness that will serve as tools for improving your communication skills and interpersonal relationships. Remember to subscribe to Positivity Channel and let's embark on a journey of thinking together now. Human Weakness was written by American writer Dale Carnegie. Historically, diplomats like Henry Kissinger successfully promoted important breakthroughs in Sino-US relations through communication skills and insights into human nature. This book reveals the key factors in interpersonal relationships through psychological principles. During World War II, Churchill used profound psychological analysis to understand Stalin and thereby maintain strong ties within the alliance. Carnegie believed that understanding human weaknesses was crucial to success. President Nixon's failure to understand public sentiment when dealing with domestic issues led to the outbreak of Watergate and demonstrated a disregard for human frailty. The book guides readers to build positive interpersonal relationships. Nelson Mandela promoted a peaceful transition in South Africa by establishing dialogue and cooperation with his opponents, demonstrating the power of positive relationships. Positive communication style is emphasized. Through his speeches during the American Civil Rights Movement, Martin Luther King used positive communication methods to inspire social change. Good relationships are the cornerstone of success. The good interpersonal relationships between the Egyptian pharaoh Tutankhamun and his advisors contributed to the prosperity and cultural development of ancient Egypt. Describes effective ways to handle arguments and conflicts. The establishment of the United Nations was a successful example of international dispute resolution after World War II. Conflicts were resolved through dialogue and further escalation of global conflicts was avoided. Promote genuine concern for others. During the Cold War, President Kennedy eased international tensions and prevented the outbreak of nuclear war through sincere interactions with Soviet leaders. Describes the correct way to criticize. Elizabeth II's calm, critical approach during the crisis has stabilized the royal family's image in the public mind. Explore how to get people to want to cooperate. The establishment of the European Union demonstrated the possibility of achieving shared prosperity through cooperation, overcoming the differences between countries. The importance of expressing one's opinion was emphasized. President Roosevelt expressed his firm will for war through the torch speech and inspired the United States' determination to fully participate in World War II. Explains people's desire for praise. Martin Luther King's leadership, which celebrated the power of ordinary people, won widespread support for the civil rights movement. Guide readers to understand other people's perspectives. Gorbachev ended the Cold War era confrontation in the Soviet Union by understanding the perspectives of Western countries and adopting a policy of openness. A warning about the dangers of excessive self-expression. The UAE, led by Nabila Ali bin al kaman has achieved stability and peace in the Middle East through a modest foreign policy. Promote remaining calm during arguments. President de Gaulle kept calm during the Cuban Missile Crisis and avoided the outbreak of global nuclear war. Tell about how to excite others. Isaac Newton spurred the scientific revolution by inspiring curiosity in others. Explains the techniques of persuading others. Mandela used his firm beliefs and negotiation skills to persuade supporters of apartheid and promote reconciliation in South Africa. Remind people not to be overly critical of others. Historically, the excessive punishment of Germany after World War I is an example of the dangers of criticism warned about in human weakness. The excessively harsh conditions in the Treaty of Versailles led to extreme dissatisfaction in German society and ultimately created the ground for the rise of the Nazi party. The psychology of interpersonal relationships is explored. Benjamin Franklin's diplomatic skills during the American Revolution demonstrated the application of interpersonal psychology. Through clever diplomatic means, he persuaded France to support American independence and made a huge contribution to the victory of the war. Key steps in building trust are described. Abraham Lincoln built trust through firm leadership and fair decision-making during the American Civil War. 
His Blue Ribbon General is a demonstration of the key steps leaders take in building trust. Explains how to handle disagreements with others. Martin Luther King Jr.'s nonviolent protests are a brilliant example of dealing with differences. Through peaceful means, he successfully promoted the American Civil Rights Movement and achieved significant victories to end apartheid. The importance of respecting other people's perspectives is emphasized. The founding of the United Nations and the formulation of its charter demonstrated the international community's consensus on respecting different viewpoints. This lays the foundation for promoting understanding and cooperation between countries. Promote listening to the needs of others. Alicia Wilkinson helped facilitate the country's reconciliation process during apartheid in South Africa by establishing the Truth and Reconciliation Commission to listen to the needs of victims. Warning people not to be too self-centered. Napoleon Bonaparte is an example of a leader who was too self-centered. His ambition ultimately led to his defeat and brought great suffering to France. Strategies for changing the perceptions of others are explored. Mahatma Gandhi used non-violent resistance to change perceptions of British rule in India and garner international support for Indian independence. Reveals people's need for attention. Francis Perkins' role in the American Civil Rights Movement underscored the desire for attention and equality. She met the needs of society by advocating for legislation against racial discrimination. Warn about the possible consequences of over-argumentation. In ancient Greece, Socrates' debating style eventually led to him being accused of undermining the Athenian belief system, setting the stage for his execution. Promote the virtues of being grateful for others. During the industrialization of the Soviet Union, Joseph Stalin stimulated the enthusiasm of the labor force and promoted the rapid development of the country by praising the contributions of workers. Describe how to win the favor of others. Elizabeth Byrne's diplomatic strategy, especially her negotiations with King Henry IV of France, demonstrated the ability to win the favor of others through intelligence and charm. The importance of remaining friendly in disputes was emphasized. During the Cuban Missile Crisis between the United States and the Soviet Union, John F. Kennedy and Nikita Khrushchev avoided the outbreak of global nuclear war by remaining calm and friendly. The challenges of dealing with relationships are explored. During World War II, there were differences in culture, language, and military strategy between countries during the Allied joint operations. However, through the wisdom and negotiation of the leaders, an effective cooperative mechanism was eventually established, the interpersonal challenges were successfully resolved, and victory over Nazi Germany was achieved. Tips on ways to avoid escalating arguments. During the Cold War, there were fierce ideological disputes between the United States and the Soviet Union. However, through diplomatic means and negotiations between the leaders of both sides, the dispute was successfully prevented from escalating into a full-scale nuclear war, and a relatively peaceful international situation was maintained. Warning that overconfidence can lead to problems. Before the outbreak of World War I, many countries were overconfident in believing that the war would end quickly, resulting in long and brutal fighting and huge casualties. This shows that overconfidence can lead to misjudgment of reality with serious consequences. Reveals the pursuit of respect for others. The Truth and Reconciliation Commission in Southern Africa was established to address the crimes of apartheid. By respecting the experiences and truths of all, the commission provided a basis for national reconciliation and led to a relatively peaceful transition in South Africa. How to Build a Strong Network the world's successful businessmen, politicians, and leaders often achieve their goals by building strong networks of people. For example, U.S. President Franklin Roosevelt used extensive social networks and diplomatic means to build a solid international alliance during World War II and contributed to the Allied victory. Emphasis on Positive Emotional Expression In world history, Isaac Rabin and Yasser Arafat showed positive expressions of emotion when the Oslo Accords were signed in 1993, bringing a glimmer of peace to the Middle East. Explore how to overcome relationship difficulties. In South Africa, Nelson Mandela successfully overcame ethnic and racial tensions and brokered a peaceful transition by promoting a reconciliation commission. 
warn people not to complain excessively. Welshman Churchill demonstrated tenacity and leadership during World War II. His indomitable attitude was the best response to the current situation, rather than excessive complaints. A reminder of the value of honest communication. In the 1980s, Soviet leader Mikhail Gorbachev launched the Glasnost policy, an attempt to reform the Soviet political system based on honest communication. Describes ways to motivate others. Martin Luther King Jr. led the American Civil Rights Movement and used peaceful protests to inspire the enthusiasm of millions of people and promote the process of racial equality. The importance of understanding the needs of others is emphasized. Hermann Göring's failure to understand the needs of the Jews during Nazi Germany resulted in the Holocaust and grave crimes in human history. Promote attention to the impact of one's words and actions. Through the persecution of political opponents during the Great Purge, Joseph Stalin ignored the negative impact of his own words and actions, which ultimately led to the country's internal and external troubles. Explains people's desire for respect. During his visit to China, President Nixon showed respect for Chinese leaders, broke the long-term hostility, and laid the foundation for the normalization of Sino-U.S. relations. Warning to avoid criticism that is too direct. In a speech to the United Nations, Yuri Andropov warned U.S. President Richard Nixon to avoid overly direct criticism in order to maintain the stability of international relations. Explore how to deal with failure and setbacks. British Prime Minister Churchill faced many setbacks during World War II, but through perseverance and determination, he finally won the Allied victory. Emphasizing the criticality of trust in relationships. The creation of the European Union, especially the German-French cooperation, underlined the importance of trust and thus ensured long-term peace and prosperity. A reminder of the power of emotional resonance. Nelson Mandela spent 27 years in prison, but through his firm faith and dedication to reconciliation, he won the emotional resonance of the international community. Reveals ways to positively influence others. Mahatma Gandhi actively influenced the Indian independence movement through non-violent resistance and became an example of a peaceful fighter. Warning to avoid using too strong language. During the coronavirus pandemic, world leaders have avoided overly tough rhetoric and focused more on international collaboration to work together to address global challenges. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe to Positivity Channel. See you next time.